how do celestial bodies stay afloat in space if space is empty space is empty so how do <laughs> celestial bodies stay afloat you're talking about floating bodies what are they floating they're floating in something right so here's the thing they aren't really floating the the universe is a stage in which things exist energy exists matter exists objects exist massive objects massive massless objects particles all of this exists on this stage and this stage is a four dimensional stage called space time and all the uh, dynamics of all the objects the way they move the way they they are situated with respect to each other and so on all of that is uh, governed by general relativity and, and which is gravity okay and inertia so inertia is newton's first law of motion any object will keep on moving in a straight line or st- will either stay at rest or keep moving in a straight line unless uh, it is acted upon by an external force i think that's roughly how we could say it so that is the law of inertia Newton, newton's first law of, of motion and then you have general relativity which is the curvature of space time uh, mass causes space time to get curved and the curvature of space time causes mass tells mass how to move and essentially this is what is responsible for the various locations and positions and movements and dynamics of celestial objects so they're not afloat somewhere floating in the air uh, they're out there in in space time essentially they're out there in space time now is space empty that's again a, a, another question well space is not really empty it is bathed in the very faint afterglow of the first light of the universe the cosmic microwave background radiation which is just about 2.7 or so degrees above zero kelvin minus 200 something celsius you can look up do the conversion okay so space has this faint afterglow it is bathed in this faint afterglow the ancient photons the first light of the in the aftermath of the, of the big bang but then you also have quantum fluctuations all over the place and that's what quantum field theory tells us and that has been proven to be true so you have quantum fluctuations virtual particle antiparticle pairs being generated and annihilated spontaneously all the time all over the place and then you have other things you have trace amounts of hydrogen gas in in, in space so it's not entirely empty it's not quite a perfect vacuum there's always something or the other in there 